Hey there everyone, it's Mellow. I guess that's kind of obvious. I've been locked in Whammy's house today with Matt. No, not like that. We're not sharing a room or anything. I wish I was missing like crazy. I am more than a little bit bored of tears. Matt is in his room. He's probably happy enough just playing his games. I've been locked out of my room. See what I can get up to? If they come back and the house is burnt down, they should have thought about that earlier. They have really pissed me off today. I'm not happy. Not happy. Seriously. Okay, L came today. That was great. Saw him for about five minutes. Gave him a hug while he was talking to every single other kid in the house. Talked to me for like a second and then away. Guess what, guys? We're going to go out to London. Oh, apart from you, Mel and Matt. You can't go. Because you're na naughty little bastards. You are. Yeah. <laughs> you're not allowed to go shooting people's cars. Yeah, we actually did that, me and Matt. Um, <laughs> we ended up breaking... Well, yeah, we ended up picking the lock into Roger's office and we may have cut the wire to his camera and recording stuff and we may, we may just have stolen Watari's sniper and then taken it outside for some target practice. May have threatened Joanna a little bit for her chocolate and then we may have just missed a squirrel and ended up shooting Roger's Bentley in the windscreen and it may have shattered and yeah, you get where it went from there. Me and Matt have been locked in. He got so pissed off. You should have seen him though. <laughs> I gotta say, even though I hate him, Roger is funny when he gets angry. He goes like totally red and white and rigid and all of a sudden he can't get enough breath and he just so badly wants to poke him in the side and go ah, and like fall over. Have you ever tried that? Someone just going absolutely crazy and just saying, they're not really listening. It's like, wait, 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 now poke them and they just, they just fall over. It's great. So you do this, you go for the ride, and then you go for the stomach. It's fun. <laughs> you know, it does actually look like his head is going to explode when he's angry. And again, I do understand why he's angry. It'll probably cost him a few thousand to get up. It cost him a lot more for the Bentley. He's a sad, sad old man. He spends all his time in his office with insects. He hates us, I swear. He's probably going to have a grasshopper as old successor. Yes, Sasha. Sasha, my little grasshopper, shall be Elle's new successor. She is far superior to any child we have here at Lanny's. <laughs> That's nice, Roger. Also, he's horrible. He's a mean old git. Have you ever heard him over the phone? To, to parents looking to adopt kids? We don't have a hope in hell! We don't have a hope in hell of getting a home! Picks up the phone! What are you talking about? What do you mean? This is an orphanage! Not an adoption agency! Who do you think we are? Slams the phone down. Oh no no no! Us children are far too intelligent to be adopted. Seriously, any of us would give anything to get out of here. They can burn the place down for all I care. I do not want to be stuck in this crazy house. It's practically a mental asylum and I'm sharing it with a thousand other crazy people where they encourage people to be too clever for their own good and it's just a bit scary, you know, when when eight-year-olds know how to hook up cameras and microphones in your bedroom. You've got to search the night. You've got to search every night in your bedroom. It makes you paranoid all the time. You don't know how tight the security is here either. It's not fun. Not fun. Ugh. Speaking of cameras, Matt, you better get yours out because I am dying with boredom and heck, I know that you will be on the internet in a matter of minutes once you finish playing your game. Actually, no, you're probably doing both, aren't you? You probably have like one hand on the mobile, a foot on a video game controller and then your chin on a keyboard and doing them all successfully. No, seriously, you could do it. He has no life. But he does know how to play a pretty damn good game. Matt's bedroom is kind of freaky. I mean, it's nice, but if you can get through the wires and don't electrocute yourself, it's like you kind of have to take your hand and say, OK, you can step there, you can step there. You can't step there, there's a giant hole in the floor and something will eat you. You can step on that wire, you can step on that wire, but that one will kill you too. Matt, seriously, sort out your wires. 
You thought that whatever's under your bed. I swear last time I looked under there, there was pieces of life, and it growled at me. It had eyes. Oh yeah, the reason I was under my, his bed was because I was trying to get my hair dye. He has about, like, five boxes of them. Five boxes of hair dye under there, although I haven't been able to get there recently because... Because, because, he has pretty much got a jungle of wires going under his bed now because, well, everybody got so pissed off of going into his room and tripping over them all the time. Well, I say everyone, mostly just me, I guess. <laughs> there was this one time when Matt got pink bubble gum stuck in his hair, refused to cut it out, so he just dyed his hair pink. And on the same day, he got his head stuck to the door. Don't ask. We were doing some pretty silly stuff, but God, that was funny. <laughs> so he had to get set it off. I miss you, Matt, and whatever you're doing right now. I think I heard a bang earlier, actually. You should probably go check if he's okay. Even though he's been locked in his bedroom, they've left the whole house to me. Not a great idea. I'm kind of bored, and I will think of something to do. Even if it does include fire. I like playing with fire, although I kind of ended up scarring myself there. 